Hello ladies and gentlemen. Um, I worked all night and I haven't slept yet. It's a little bit, it's going on about 10 o'clock in the morning and I was at work since 11. And um, I am going to rest for a little bit, but before I do that, I want to talk to you about a few things. Really not much, but it's actually breaking news, so I guess it is much. I don't know if you're aware, um, there's been reports out about how, and again, forgive the beeping sound, please, about how Russia, uh, Putin, actually, the president of Russia, has been pleading with the media, uh, through the media, to the world, especially NATO and the United States, I'm not saying Putin's a saint, but he's been pleading to intervene or to have some type of resolution because the world is at the brink of an escalated global war. Now you know that we are in World War III. I've explained that as well. They don't tell you this in the mainstream media news. Um, but this type of war I'm talking about is the escalated portion, like the beginning stages. Um, which I always told you that it's escalating now, but I mean it's getting more intensified. Because at the border of Russia, NATO is building up forces, and they're just ignoring Russia's warnings when Russia says it's very provocative, it's aggressive, it is an act of aggression. They're just, they just continue to do it. Um, Ukraine is doing a massive military buildup as well. Um, they're preparing for an offensive and they're not going to tell you this in the mainstream media news. If you shift over to the Middle East, um, Obama continues to send troops to support the Sunni Muslims. This man supports Al-Qaeda, this man supports the Taliban, you name it. This man's a Muslim. And this man is not about peace. He wants, he wants a global, an escalated, a more intensified global conflict. That's what he wants. If you shift over to the South China Sea, China has been holding... Um, He's, they're holding like this massive drill and I think I believe that they declared a no-fly zone even a no-sail zone that there's not supposed to be any type of uh, foreign ships in that area because you know that they claim the islands of the South China Sea and it's sovereign land to China now I'm not gonna take a side on that but you all you all y'all know that the US is always the aggressor the US is hated by many most nations every nation now that's intensifying the USA has been sending warships there they've been provocative they've been intercepted by Chinese warships Chinese warplanes and the tensions just rising there so you have three hot spots where the tensions are rising and I believe according to the book of Revelation um, this escalated intensified great war will start in the Middle East and spread out and branch out like um, like a web then if you go over to North and South Korea North and South Korea you already know that they hate the North Korea hates America just like every nation does and South Korea as well um, they do have nuclear firearms, so, you know, don't listen to the mainstream media news when they say that they don't. Remember, everything that spills out of Obama's mouth is a bold-faced lie. So, let's shift over to, back to the Middle East. And I guess we'll look at the worldly nations for a second. You know Iran and China have a strong relationship. So, do they have a strong relationship with Russia? So in these few areas that I labeled regarding heated global conflict, heated tensions, each area where is on the we're on the brink of 
an escalated, more intensified global war. Now we are at World War III. When I say global war, I mean exactly that, but in this, and it's already escalated, but in this situation, more intensified. More intensified meaning where the United States and Russia will be, will have a confrontation. And they'll have a confrontation directly with Iran and China. That's foretold in Ezekiel 38 and 39. Now a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ are sending me emails that they're getting visions and dreams about war with China, Russia, and uh, China, Russia, and Iran. You also know that there's other nations in that mix. There's Latin nations that hate the United States. There's African nations that hate the United States. Ethiopia is a good example. Now, Venezuela, Mexico, okay? Mexico still harbors hate towards the United States because they say that the United States took Texas, um, I believe it's California, Arizona, whatever lands were won in the Mexican-American War or the Spanish-American War, the war between Mexico and the United States, they say the United States took it. And, and I believe that. The United States is not a saint at all, neither are these other nations. But um conflict is arising everywhere now that's that's nothing i mean it's still something it's it's bad there's more if you uh shift over to the united states okay here locally you notice all these false flags that are popping up like something is trying to get the people to uprise to rebel and overthrow the current government or to cause like a civil war and again in an attempt to overthrow the government so what happens if a civil war happens or if there's a lot of rioting a lot of civil unrest martial war is declared when martial war is declared the 22nd amendment which I believe it is is implemented which for those of you that do not know is supposed to give the president complete power over everything the president will be like a dictator not even congress will be able to stop him I'm not going to state it as fact but i think congressional powers will be suspended as well i don't I'm not going to state it as fact but the president will supersede every congressional law they will have power the president will have power over everything so much so that the president will be able to stop the elections if there's civil unrest now i believe obama is trying to do that because Obama wants this escalated war. Now think about this for a second. The Muslims say, according to their ideology, that if uh, there's a global war, right, that their Muhadin will return their anti their antichrist their what they perceive as their messiah the bible sees as the antichrist the antichrist spirit they believe their muhadin will return i hope i'm pronouncing that word right that's what they believe so they want a global conflict the islamic muhadin is the antichrist in the bible now i'm not saying that the antichrist is going to come on the scene we all know that the daniel 9:27 prophecy ushers in the seven year tribulation and will also be a biblical turning point where the the uh, antichrist will be revealed after sometime after the Daniel 9:27 prophecy is fulfilled sometime after I don't know when that's up to Jesus Christ but Obama is eager for a escalated major global conflict is what I need to let you know you guys know that if you don't notice he's provoking all these countries He's provoking them. And he wants to stop the elections. You see, he wants civil war. He wants some type of civil war or rioting to the point that it'll it'll give him an excuse to declare martial law. Why do you think he's targeting the gun rights? So that way, when they come for you to detain you, you won't have any means of defending yourself. Now, Christians, God's people, 
will have Jesus Christ in their corner. God will protect them. But what about those that are not that are not even covered by the blood of the Lamb? They're sitting ducks. I'm just telling you this not to scare you. I'm telling you this because the mainstream media news is not telling you this. Now, I'm going to leave some links below. I'm not claiming any copyright for these links. I'm going to leave the fair use statement below with all this false flagging business of copyright going on. I'm going to leave that below. I'm going to leave these links below, meaning that those particular sources will get credit for the work that they did. I'm not claiming any copyright ownership. I'm not claiming any credit for their work. I'm not even mentioning them in this video. I'm going to put sources below because those are sources that where I'm getting the information from and also I prayed on this. Now with that being said I'm going to close it with this. Okay, I'm getting like I said visions and dreams from lots of brothers and sisters in Christ. Dreams of war, visions of war. Okay, and of course we all know we got to test the spirits. Um, I had a vision myself. I had a vision yesterday that I saw the tops of trees burning, just on fire, okay? And I had a dream the other day that I opened my back door and I saw piles of dead people, fields of dead people. Some of them looked charred, some of them looked like they had boils on their skin, like it was some kind of pestilence, maybe pestilence and war not trying to scare you or make you depressed. It's not meant to do that. This is to prepare you. The times that we are living in, it's dangerous. It's very prophetic. So I'm going to leave the links below and I ask you, brothers and sisters, to please test the spirits. Now I don't know how much time my channel has to go to stay up or whatever. Because like I told you all, yesterday I'm waiting to hear back on those 